Richard, welcome back to another Fantasy Goodfellas video where we're going to talk about the top wide receivers 11 through 20. So, you ready? I'm ready. The Fantasy Goodfellas. Boom, boom, boom. Hey. Oh, on the field. Thanks for watching our first video. And in this video, we're going to continue our top wide receiver rankings 11 through 20. Richard, take it over. And number 11, we have Marquis Brown, who will be home against Minnesota. Brown's been hot all year, but he had a dud right before the bye. How do you think he picks up coming back? I, I think he comes back with another big play. He's been consistent. He, he's had a big play more often than not. So that's why I have him at 11. And number 12, Robert Woods, home against Tennessee. That Rams offense is good. It just doesn't seem to always be going Woods' way. What's going on there? Well, he, he's starting to pick it up. Starting, to, He scored this past weekend. I, I think the trend continues. You know, right now he's Cooper Cup's Robin, but Stafford is hot. The McVay offense is great. They're very aggressive. I like Woods this week. And number 13, Amari Cooper, home against the Broncos. Tell me what's going on with Cooper, and don't tell me about his lingering injuries. That's that's the extent of it. He's a stud. I mean, he just had a great week. He's going to do well normally, but I just I always expect the wheels to come off at some point. And that's why I'm trusting C.D. Lamb more. But hey, he's still well within our top 30. And number 14, Adam Thielen at Baltimore. Thielen was having a pretty decent season, but now it looks like Minnesota's falling apart. What do you expect from Thielen this week? Look, Adam Thielen is great. He is the steady receiver on that team, while Justin Jefferson's the big, big play guy. I think that offense rebounds after the terrible game they had against the Cowboys. I think they're going to rebound. I mean, they have Dalvin Cook in the backfield. Something's going to happen there. And I think Thielen's going to do well. And number 15, Brandon Cooks at Miami. This looks like a dumpster fire, right? Who's going to do good? Houston or Miami, two terrible teams. What do you think Cooks does against that Miami D? I'm hoping for a shootout. I'm hoping for a shootout between these two teams. Realistically, I think the Dolphins should win this game, but you never know. And Brandon Cooks has done well week after week, regardless of quarterback, regardless of matchup. He's a playmaker. I mean, trade deadline's not up yet. Hopefully he gets moved. I don't think he will, but he'll be He'll do well against the Dolphins. And number 16, Deontay Johnson, who will be home against the Bears. If you're a fantasy owner with Deontay Johnson, do you try to trade him, get some value? Because he's still got Ben Roethlisberger as his quarterback. You tell me that every week, and every week he's in the top 30. Uh, Deontay Johnson did well again this, this week. He's just a steady guy. He's a steady guy. You're right about Ben Roethlisberger, but Deontay Johnson's a talent. And 17, Keenan Allen at Philadelphia. I hate seeing these great receivers with only two touchdowns, and that's Allen's problem. What do you think happens the rest of the season? There was a period there where we thought Mike Williams was the number one guy with the chart. Now he's had a couple of duds in a row. Justin Herbert is great. Who's his number one? We're hoping it's Keenan Allen again. Something's got to give. Maybe the Chargers aren't as good as we think, you know, we thought they were earlier in the season. And number 18, Michael Pittman, who will be home against the Jets. I don't follow the Colts too much, so I don't know much about Pittman. Can you tell me something about him? This past week, he was the number two receiver in fantasy. Carson Wentz looks like he's starting to pick up a little rhythm. That offense, obviously, they have the stud Jonathan Taylor in the backfield. That helps. But Pittman has been their number one, and he has been producing, and he has put up top 20 fantasy numbers for this season. And number 19, DJ Moore, who will be home against the Patriots. Can we count on DJ Moore this week going against New England? I think so. I mean, again, New England's that, that team is not that great. They're a little overrated. The concern with DJ Moore is his quarterback. I've been saying it from the beginning. I don't like Sam Darnold. He started off hot. I said, just give it time. We're going to get back to Sam Darnold, and here we are. Here we are. That's DJ Moore's problem, Sam Darnold, but he's a great receiver. And number 20, Jalen Waddle, who will be home against Houston. Waddle didn't have a good game last week, only with four receptions, but wow, did you see the targets, 12? Yeah, I knew it was going to happen. I loved Waddle last week. I thought he was going to have a good week. All he has to do is break one, but he didn't. He had a horrible week. We, I expect him to rebound, and they need to open up the playbook. The Dolphins, they need to they need to free Waddle. Thanks for coming on here and sharing your top wide receiver rankings, 11 through 20. My pleasure. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, ask us those questions in the comments section, and watch our next video. We're going to do 21 through 30. The Fantasy Goodfellas. Boom, boom, boom. Hey. Oh, on the field. Hey. 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 Hey.
Goodfellas.